Hello and welcome back. So now before adding the basic player movement, let's simply add our cine machine. So you will find this cine machine in the resources. So go ahead and check that out and download it. But before adding that to the project, first of all, guys, make sure that you add the cine machine package. Okay. So right here, click on this window and then go inside the package manager okay here is the package manager just change this packages to the unity registry okay and then if you scroll down right here you will find this cinema machine and also you can search for this as well so guys just don't miss this step okay because many of you asked me this on the previous project that there is some problem with our cinema machine and the problem was that you guys missed this package okay this cinema machine package so first of all make sure that you add this package so just download it and after downloading it click on this install so the cinema machine package is added okay if you click on this packages right here you will see this cinema machine and if you click on this component you will find this cinema machine right here Okay, so now we can just simply add that inside our project. So right here, first of all, let's create a new folder by the name of prefabs. And inside this prefab, let's drag and drop this. Okay, drag and drop that right there. Now we have the aim cine machine and the third person cine machine. And guys, we will be using this cine machine just for the PC te testing okay this computer testing when we will be adding the mobile controls then we will add a script okay so then the player should change the player facing by touch okay for now we will be using these two so just drag and drop them in there and then click on this prefab unpack completely and as you can see the MCD machine is disabled enable it and once that is enabled then select these both and drag and drop the player inside this follow and then inside this look at okay and after that if we click on our camera right here we need to add the cine machine brain like that okay so now if we play the game you will notice that when we move our mouse the camera will rotate as you can see and the cine machine package is a really useful package from unity but as you can see it doesn't look good like this so what we can do let's add that right there then the priority level of this third person machine is 10 and this one is 9 because at first we want our third person cinema machine to be activated let's go ahead inside the body of the third person cinema machine and change this x value a little bit right here and a little bit to the left side like that okay now if we play this game and maximize you will notice that now it looks really good like this okay now let's minimize it and let's disable the third person enable the aim cine machine go inside the body and move it up right there like that okay now let's click on maximize and aim cine machine will look good like this okay so we will just leave everything now as it is and guys make sure that you add this cine machine prefabs okay make sure that you download these okay these were created by me actually I have set all of the values of the same machine so that we don't have to do it again and again for each project okay we can just then just simply take these two and add this inside any project so now we have this cine machine 
added now in the next video we will add basic movement to our players so for that catch you guys in the next one